We are back with some more Texans Legacy franchise. The new league is finally here. It's finally been recreated. We are into the playoffs here. And um, as you can see, we got four wins uh, on the Sims. We were trying to match the real life records. Well, you can't do a tie. So that was just a fair Sim. Obviously, the Texans tied the Colts week one. So we did win the week one game. Got the other two dubs. And then our last game, week 18, was a fair sim just because we couldn't really get to it. He, he couldn't play over the weekend. I had a pretty tight schedule on the Monday, so we just decided to fair sim it. The game was meaningless for both of us. And we got a dub in week 14 or week 18, which means the Colts get the number one pick. They pull off the unthinkable. We do not get the number one pick. We fall to the number two spot, which is okay. Um, I still don't really know what I'm going to do with that pick quite yet. It's either probably defense. I don't need a quarterback. Um, I know some of you guys were saying, pick Bryce Young. That's what the Texans are going to do in real life. So the Texans botched the number one overall pick in real life as well with a dub against the Colts. So I guess that's somewhat realistic that I got a dub there in week 18. Um, not going to get a quarterback. I might even trade back a bit with that pick and get more draft capital. Not too sure what I'm going to do quite yet. But the playoffs are here. I'll show you guys the playoff teams. They're just like real life pretty much. Besides, you know, no Seahawks. <clears throat> Chiefs one seed, Bills two seed. The Dolphins are the seven seed. Bengals are the three. Chargers are the six. Titans are the four seed. Ravens the five seed. The Eagles with the bye week. 49ers take on the Giants. The Vikings is the three seed. Lions is the six seed. And the Cowboys made or did get a win here to knock off the Bucks. 48-45. Pretty, pretty intense game there. Um, the next video will be the final resign stage. Obviously, we're not in the playoffs, unfortunately, because we had such a good season last season where just one loss. We just had one loss, man. Bye week secured. We were looking nice, and um, the league just, EA just broke. So hopefully that doesn't happen anymore because it took a long time to get everyone back in here, get this schedule aligned, you know, get everyone's drafted players on the team, sim through it all. It just took forever, so... We're finally back to three-day advances, you know, going through the playoffs. It might be a little bit for my next video because the playoffs might take a while. You know, it all depends on that. So um, the final resign stage, though, will be my next video. But let's get into some recap here in The Sims. First things first, we did resign a decent amount of people. So we'll go over that first, talk about the resigns. Um, I was about to go to the Giants for some reason. There's the Texans. So all the way down where we at here, week four, oh, that's practice squad, practice squad. So here, we resigned Tavier Thomas, two years, 6.4 million. Resigned our backup for safety, Jonathan Owens, to a two year, 6.8 million dollar deal. Tremont Smith, one year, 2.6. KPL, one year, 2.6. Grayland Arnold, one year, 1.7. Scott Questenberry, one year, 2 million. And our backup right guard, Jimmy Morrissey, to a one-year deal worth 900000 So pretty much backups is all I really had to deal with this season. Um, I'm, you know, Some people I might let walk uh, this season that I didn't let walk last season. So it just it's all – everything's going to be a little bit different. The team's obviously a little bit different now. But that is who we re-signed. I'll go over the awards as well. We did not win any awards, which is, again, tragic. Tragic, tragic, tragic. Jalen Hurts won MVP. Coach of the Year, Nick Serrani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe Mixon, Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year, Khalil Mack. Um, offensive Rookie of the Year was Marquez Webster, the speedster. Damian Pierce, you know, he did okay. He got third. Mechie got seventh. And Emmett Walters got ninth. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Trayvon Walker. We had George Rose at the five spot and Christian Harris at the eight spot. Joe Burrow, best QB, best RB is Joe Mixon. Best wide receiver is Jacoby Myers, which is a little weird. Best offensive lineman, Kevin Zeitler. Best defensive lineman, Von Miller. Best linebacker, Cleo Mack. Best DB, Alexander Kemp. Best kicker, Randy Bullock and Joe Mixon. Like I said, offensive player of the year. The NFC side, Cooper Cup, offensive player of the year. Nick Bosa, defensive player of the year. Garrison Frazier, offensive rookie of the year. Kayvon Thibodeau, defensive rookie of the year. Jalen Hurts, best QB. Alvin Kamara, best art running back. Cooper Cup, best receiver. Zach Martin, best offensive lineman. Nick Bosa, best defensive lineman. Daniela Hunter, best linebacker. Jalen Ramsey, best DB. And Graham Gano as the kicker. Obviously, these are all simmed stats, except maybe people who played their Week 18 game. So it doesn't mean much. But they're, you know, decent to look at. The, stat, the stats are a little a little rough for us, but we'll go over the lineup, just show you guys how everyone's overall is looking. It's They're looking terrible because of the morale boost, but it's, you know, it's okay. It's okay. 
No one went up in dev during the Sims. I had a couple breakout players. Um, we had one for OJ Howard to go to Superstar, which was just random, and he didn't get it. If he would have got that Superstar one, I would have been interested to maybe re-sign him, but he didn't get it. Um, honestly, I think that might have been the only dev game I got. We didn't get much in The Sims. Emmett Walters, he's at 80 overall now. He's got the minus 5 Maravus, which is just ugly to see. It's not good, but he did get a third ability. He got comeback. When playing from behind, players with this ability can easily enter the zone, so he gets the bazooka easily, easier activated when playing from behind, which is, you know, I guess I guess it's decent. Um, oops, before I go over here. Um, not much overall boost on the players, really, though. I mean, it really wasn't. Nico, I think, went up a couple overalls. Same thing with Mechi, a couple overalls. I mean, nothing drastic where I'm like, whoa, you know, that's that. they're just a monster now. Um, like I said, no dev upgrades, just everyone kind of <laughs> kind of doing their thing. Um, it does suck a little bit, man. It, it does suck a little bit that we had to restart because we lost a lot of dev stuff and um, upgrading my guys. So we got some work to do. I'm already in talks with a couple of trades, so we won't, won't go through trades now. Um, we'll, we'll cover that in the offseason video, but we need some work. We got some work to do because we realistically probably only got two seasons left and of this Madden. So we, if we want to win a Super Bowl, we got to do some major damage this draft and you know, draft some good players, get a couple free agents, and push for a Super Bowl because we're running out of time. First year was a failure, made the playoffs, lost my first game in the wild card, and second year we, was a great success until the league broke. So we got, we, we got limited time to make it work. And I don't know if I'll ever get the Texans again to try. I mean, the Texans, I'll be handing them back over to a, a real-life Texans user, too. So this might be our last chance to make something happen. Uh, we'll go show some R stats, and then we'll probably end the video. We're not going to spend too much time. I just want to let you guys know we're back in action. You know, things are happening. Um, we take these stats with a grain of salt. They were all Sims, but... Emmett Walters, 4,634 yards, 25 touchdowns, 19 picks, was sacked 44 times. His longest pass was 41 yards, so he was just a check down machine, it seems. Um, rushing, didn't even get to 1,000 with Damian Pierce, 20, 227 attempts for 897 yards. He did have 13 touchdowns. Rexy, 95 carries, 292 yards, and 5 touchdowns, and Emmett Walters, Got in there on a rushing touch. And nice to see no rushing fumbles, though. So hang on to the ball. Um, our fullback, really? He's a rookie? <laughs> this guy's a monster, I guess. Dude, six touchdowns? What in the world? Okay. New fullback. That's another player. Like, we don't have Andy anymore. Andy's gone. We got this guy, Troy. So Troy's here, and he's got six touchdowns in this episode. so good for him. Brandon Cooks had, honestly, a monster season, which is good to see because he was having a very good season for us uh, in that final season. But 100 receptions, 1,400 yards at 13 touchdowns, absolute monster season. Nico Collins, this one was interesting. When I saw the stats, I was like, damn, over 1,000 for him? He only had one touchdown, but a player... I'm interested in possibly. He's very young. He's 23. He's very tall. He's 6'4. He's a, he's a big man. I like big, tall, physical receivers. Um, so he might be a project receiver. I don't know. I might just try to look at filling the slot role. Or I might just keep them both. I might just keep matching the slot how I had it and keep Nico out wide and just roll with these two. Um, I mean, he's got good traits. The thing with him is he has a drop passes trait, which is kind of annoying. But I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with the receivers. I could I could replace them both and go rookie, rookie, or draft or sign a free agent for them. But um, in the Sims, Nico did good. And the thing that I like a lot about Nico is his height. I mean, I, that's what we were missing in the old league. We didn't have much height. I mean, Grimes came and he was like what six one or six something like that. Um, I think he only might have been like six feet tall. But he won. You know, he was one of the guys to go up there and make those contested catches catch a ball in a tight window, get smacked, and hang on to it. And we, we don't really have that now because we don't have Grimes anymore. So Nico could be that guy. He's got he's got good catching, good speed. So, you know, it's it's interesting. We'll have to see. Same thing with Mechie. He's interesting. He's already star dev. Um, he's got decent speed and stuff. So we'll just have to see how the free agency goes. We got about the same cap space to work with. I think we got about $40 million to work with. 
this one, and then the next off season is the one where we have a shitload. So hopefully we do get to another off season. I think we should, but um, that's the one where we can really go hard and splash. This off season we really only have enough room to make one or two like pretty notable signings, like we did last year in the old league. We got the Sean Elliott, got Anthony Barr, and um, uh, offensive lineman. I mean that was all. That's all the moves we really made in the off season. So uh, blocking. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Titus Howard. He allowed 21 sacks. He's terrible. He's so bad. We got number one priorities to replace that man. George Rose did get 10 sacks, so that's pretty good. Jonathan Greenard, five and a half. Malik with five. Rasheem Green, two. Christian Kirksey, one and a half. And Christian Harris with one. Our tackle leader was Christian Harris with 133. Tackle for loss leader, Malik Collins, just, you know, doing the dirty work. George there tied for second with 14. And Roy Lopez. Our pick leader, four-way tie, not many picks. Christian Harris with two, Stephen with two, Eric Murray with two, and Derek Stingley Jr. with two. Kirksey and Desmond with one each. Not many interceptions there, man. Not too many. Any forced fumbles? Only one. Derek Stingley. Any safeties? No, we did get a touchdown. Christian Harris on a, probably a pick six. Not bad. Not the craziest stats in the world. Kaimi, he's was... Kind of piss poor. He only kicked 14 kicks. Missed five of them. So that's that's not the best there. Um, kick return wise, they'd be getting close. We got what? A 37 yard of Philip Dorsett. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Our longest punt was a 14 yard. Not good. But that is that for the Sims. Um, now we just wait. We got to wait till the final resign stage. There's probably maybe one or two guys I've re signed. Um, if that. I think I re signed most of the people I wanted to. The rest are just going to walk. And then, um, then it's the off season. Then we can finally get back into some gameplay. It's been a very long time since I played Madden. I'm itching to play. I'm sorry about the playoffs. Blame the Texans in real life. Blame EA for just screwing up our league. I mean, we could have been into our draft probably. Or we could have been into the third season already playing. So it is what it is. But everything's back up and running in the new league. We just got to let the playoffs play out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one.